Okay, we're back again today, and I am at, currently at the green course, which is not quite as difficult as the red course. But up at the top there, <laughs> we have former X Game man, Ravi Drugan at the gates, waiting to make a run down. Now I gotta tell you, X Games, I'm really, really disappointed that you guys dropped Monoskier X. I hate to say it, but I think that was kind of cold. But checking out Ravi Drugan on this high bank slalom course, designed for snowboarders. It not even designed really for skiers. But look at this. Okay, slow part starting out. You give him a little push there. Now this does get faster going down, but I wanted to catch him coming out of the gate. And he's working it for everything it's worth there, no doubt about it. Let's see if we can step aside here, catch him coming down a little more out of the way, coming around them turns. And he's working it, he's working it. I'll tell you what, that guy is one rad monoskier for sure. I mean, he can catch air, he is not afraid of anything. And there he goes, down the hill. Yeehaw! Nice, and you know what? It's all for Tyler Eklund, so giving it up for Tyler Eklund at the Dirksen Derby at Mount Bachelor Sunday. And I do believe, oh, excuse me, that it is the 15th. Nice. Everybody's giving it up for the Dirksen Derby. Actually, the Dirksen Derby is in support of Tyler Eklund. And that's what everybody's giving it up. And we got to thank the major sponsor, Patagonia. And we got to thank Mount Bachelor, who is actually a sponsor as well, even though it also happens at their mountain. So we must thank them. There are many sponsors, and I do not have my list with me currently today, but if you go back and watch the video from yesterday, I do ramble off the entire list of sponsors. Okay, I'm here at a super gnarly spot, which is, this is the green course, the slightly the easier course, coming down this way, right here. I'll Coming around and down out that way. Now, this is the more difficult red course over here, and she coming down right here. So I think I'm a little dangerous. I think I'm gonna go stand maybe over there, but maybe not. Maybe I will take a slight risk here for a little bit. Okay, here we go. We got one coming down on the red. No, they did not come down on the red. But they came down and they fooled me right there. Well, still giving it up for Tyler Eklund. She dancing, she giving it up for Tyler Eklund right there. Look at that, man. And that's what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Okay, it, I thought we had no, no, they're just checking the first turn or something. So we got to stand by. Well, we are here and they're not quite going yet, okay? So I'm not sure exactly what's going on. But I'll take a moment to tell you a little bit about the history of this event that is put on by, started by, and still goes under the name of the Dirksen Derby. And the Dirksen Derby is named after Josh Dirksen, who started this event. Why did he start this event? Because one of his good buddies, and one of a lot of people's buddies up here, and it must have been about seven years ago. Now, don't mark my word on this, okay? But Tyler Eklund, little up-and-coming snowboarder, he was ripping it up good. I guess he was getting warmed up for an event or something. And he had what could only be considered a tragic accident. We all know snowboarding is a dangerous, and so is skiing. But anyway, he was competing, and he did something. Had a bad crash, and he became paralyzed from about his neck down. So he became permanently disabled in a state where it really takes a lot of money to take care of yourself once that has occurred. And because of the Dirks and Derby, a lot of money is raised each year now to help Tyler take care of himself. And I got to tell you, since this thing has started, I have definitely seen Tyler smile a time or two. So, okay. And, uh, and I say that in jest, I mean, 
you know, I seen him smile more than that. But he's stoked and he's thanking all these people like these Groms who are coming here to do this. Oh, I'm falling down. <laughs> I'm in a precarious spot. But he's thanking everybody that comes here to do this because it enables him to live his life in a much more comfortable way and not be freaking out, you know, about finances when he needs to be so taken care of. And who knows, maybe we'll see him come down. They do carry him down the course every year. They run him in a monoski. So here's the Groms, these are little guys. This guy's taking the red and he's working it up, man. Nice. And all in benefit for Tyler. So, you know, but the thing is, not only is it a benefit, oh, getting there there. Not only is it the benefit for Tyler, but everybody has a dang good time here. And although, yeah, there is record keeping and it is, you know, you could call it a competition, but it's not really like everybody does it more just for the fun of it. You know, even if they know that they're not going to be like the top dog, you know, because you don't get a chance to ride a course like this too often. This course was all hand built by people who gave of their time to create this course and the event, etc., etc. And here she goes, working it down for Tyler. Nice. Bringing it down for Tyler again. Okay, now I forget the, the age of what they call the Groms or the Grommets, but Groms in skiing refers to the Youngers, you know, so they are the Youngers, okay? We got a flag here, so it's kind of in my way. I'm having to tip the camera to come the other direction, but here come one of them right now. Working it down for Tyler Eklund. Nice. Okay, here comes another one coming down the red course. Looking good. Nice carve. Okay, probably going to end up going back down to where I was. But now, nah, you know, maybe we'll just stay here a little while longer. Though this is not probably the most exciting place of either of these courses. I do have them back to back right here here it comes they're yelling Wyatt so that must be Wyatt I don't know though I'm in the middle of two courses and there he goes yo knee, knee ice now just down below there is where it gets hairy bringing it down for the Groms for Tyler Eklund hey give it a hot baby go Go, 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 and everybody going, man. I mean, that guy probably weighs, or that girl probably weighs 50 pounds, okay? So giving it up for Tyler. Okay, somebody be saying Johnny there, so. Yeah, that, that's obviously Johnny. <laughs> and he's working it good, man. Damn, that Grom is good. Everybody is a winner here. Look, even if you got to get up because you fell down, and you got to do a little cross-country snowboarding behind the tree there, you're still a winner, okay? Everybody's a winner here because why they do it and there's a winner there and there's a winner right there and there's the winner right there okay because when you understand why in the world you're here and why in the world you paid these entry fees to do this there's definitely more to it than just all the fun you're having and it is an awesome thing little grom coming down on the red course Bring it in. Go Grom. Go Grom. They're all going to be Groms to me because I don't know the names. But they're the little Gromets. And I'll tell you what, some of them kids, they probably don't even remember the first time they snowboarded. Bringing it down for the first turns here. Well, I'll tell you what, if that was a Grom, I don't know where the age stops, but that was a pretty big kid right there and he's ripping it down. Nice. She calm. Giving it up for Tyler Eklund. Maintaining that speed. Behind the tree temporarily, and there she goes. Bringing it down for the Tyler Eklund. Working it down, looking sweet on the high bank slalom snowboard course. Had they just chopped this tree down here, that, that tree right there, if they'd have just chopped that tree down, well, you know they're not going to do that because this is national forest, and they are not allowed to just come around here and chop down trees. Okay, speaking of sponsors, it's kind of hard to see from here, and I'm not going to zoom it up, but right down there in that tree is a big old sign. It says, Crab Grab, Crab Grab. 
Now, the other day when I did mention the sponsors, I did say Crab Grabby. But I didn't mean to say Crab Grabby, but I did. So now I'm going to say Crab Grab. <laughs> working it, working it down for Tyler Eklund. And doing a mighty fine job this Grom. He, he's wiggling around a little bit, but he's working the waves. And he's pumping it through. Doing the boogaloo. Here it comes. You work it down. Now, I don't know. I thought this was Grom's. And I'll tell you what. That guy did not look like a Grom to me. But there's only so many Groms. And a lot of them were taking the other course. Well, anyway, all these people are competitors. Well, maybe maybe the one isn't. But are been competitors here. And, well, they're not really competing. They're all giving it up just for some fun. And they're doing it for Tyler Eklund. And the reason that they're out here on course is because yeah, yeah, they are... Yeah, yeah. They're, they're in the deal anyway, otherwise you can't come running out here. And there she goes. Working the waves. Or the banks, I should say. And giving it up for Tyler Eckler. Bring it down. Oh, and see, but this is what I'm going to tell you. Everybody is a winner here. Everybody is a winner here. For bringing it and entering, that's all you got to do to be a winner here. And he's working it down. He's working it, he's working it. Oh, he got off the course a little bit, but he held on and he maintained it. And actually doing a pretty good job there on the lower berms. And that's where they get you. And he's giving it up for Tyler Eklund. Bringing it down once again. Not sure what class I'm seeing here, folks. But this is the same place we've been the last couple days. More difficult section of the course. And he's pumping it down. Okay, so I'm here now. This is the older and wiser crew. And you know, they might not be so wise to be doing this. Because it might be just too doggone hairy for them. But look at him do it. And he is not munching it. And he's giving it up for Tyler Eklund. And that's what it's all about okay here he comes older and wiser and he got a gopro on his head he's got a gopro on his head and he's working it on down there checking them on out i don't know these must be the daddies of some of these groms but they're giving it up for tyler no doubt about it okay we got a few skiers here and it's not technically a ski event but this guy is coming down i saw him up here yesterday did not see him ski and he's going to show us how to do this puppy on a ski well, you know, now that I see him, I guess I'm a little bit jealous. I could have put on my 160s and kicked. Well, you know, maybe not. That was pretty good. Okay, we're here with number 118. Once again, we got to thank Patagonia and Mount Bachelor for putting on this Dirksen Derby. We're going to thank Josh, Josh Dirksen as well. And everybody's giving it up here for Tyler Eklund. And we are with here... Taylor Carlton. Taylor Carlton. Truckee, California. Truckee. Hey, dude, I've been hey, to dude. Truckee. I grew up skiing Tahoe, man. You, you know, Truckee is like, well, hang on a second here. Oh, oh I thought we had one coming by. Anyway, Truckee kind of like, you know, uh, like, kind of like some places like around where I live. You can't live there and be a puss, huh? No. You got to no, move a, snow it's, there, it's huh? puss-free zone, dude. Yeah, yeah. And Total you, puss -free you, zone. you got a snowblower? Oh, I got three snowblowers. See, this dude got three snowblowers where yeah. he lives. I only have two. Oh, oh but you know, mine are Hondas. What brand are yours? Uh, my, I got a Toyota one. See, three a Toyotas. Toyota, but he still got three of them. You must get a lot of snow in Truckee. Tons hey, dude, snow. thanks for coming out here and giving it up for Tyler Eklund from Tahoe, That's brother. Right. You You're the man. Job. Thank you. Okay, here come, here come a little Grom now. So I, this is not older and wiser. I'll tell you, if it was older and wiser, that would be a hell of a small older wiser man right there, no doubt about it. And Oh, 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 oh. he kind of went over the berm there. But you know what? That's okay because there are no losers here. Everyone is a winner because of why they're doing it. They're giving it up for the fellow snowboarder, Tyler Eklund. He got a GoPro in his hand. He's got a GoPro in his hand. Oh, and you must sing. understand <laughs> that GoPro is one of the sponsors of this event. And he is waiting for his man to come down. And he's going to capture him with the GoPro in his hand. He got a GoPro in his hand. He's bringing it down. He's a little one. I'm gonna tell you, man. That, oh, oh he on. might be all. A, yeah, he buddy. might be all a 50 pounds. He got himself a good cheering section here, no doubt about it. Yeah, you got it, buddy. Stay on it. Stay on it. They're cheering him. 
And he's doing a good job now. Alan! You know, when you're a little teeny guy like that, making the jump gaps is not easy because it's hard to maintain the speed when you're that light. Okay, this one didn't do the gap. He went around it, which is something that you can do. You can go around that gap jump oh, dude. Owen, if you want Owen to, but I'll tell you. There he goes. You can, see that tree right there, and there's the gap jump. And you're coming around that turn. Now, if you do go around that jump, I mean, that is barely a teeny little lane to get through. So that is going to be kind of scary, even if you go around it. Oh, he just kind of got got in that gap there, but it flipped it around right back up. And like I said, folks, everybody here is a winner. Everybody here is a winner at the Dirksen Derby. Giving it Adam, up for Tyler Eklund. Are you going to hang until you run? Because that's where the proceeds go to help Tyler Eklund. Who did, like you heard me say earlier, become a permanently disabled through a tragic a snowboarding accident when he was warming up for a competition. And in his heart, he is still a hell of a rider. There is no doubt about that. Now we got the man out here. He's putting out the he's putting out the stuff there. And it's the same stuff they mock them. You put in your spray or mock your Mark where you're putting your spray anyway, it's called. That's under many different names. <coughs> I have used the stuff in my turf. And you can kind of color your turf and see where you sprayed. So anyway, they're putting out the marker. Must be some guys can't see good enough. But I got to admit, that does help to see the course as you're coming down. Okay, we are here with 18. 18. I gotta ask 18 a question. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I do like those cuffs, man. Look at how bright those things are. Thanks, My man. God, those things will blind you. Well, you know the fluorescence may be making a comeback. Maybe. How about you? You are Tucker. Tucker, where'd yeah. you come from, brother? Colorado, man. You're are you kidding me? No. What no. part? Uh, Crested Butte Winter Crested Park. Crested Butte. Well, Both. you know what, what? My favorite place in Colorado is what. Golden, because that's where my Coors comes from, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Coors, Coors, Coors is the only here, man. beer, Coors man. Boys. But hey, so one. you brought it all the way to Mount Bachelor from Colorado to do this. Yep, with Dude, this guy too. You are awesome. You guys are all awesome Colorado. to bring it all that way to Mount Bachelor, little freaking Mount Flatchler Bachelor, to do this competition. <laughs> and we're here, group. this is number 87. 87, well, he ain't in heaven yet because he's still here in front of us. What's your name, man? <laughs> I'm Ben, man. Ben, well, my pleasure. My pleasure. And, and the, these guys are your crew over here as well, huh? Oh, this is the crew. This is the squad. Yeah, well, we met this other guy already from Truckee there. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you guys must go a long ways back. A long ways. <laughs> Look at that beard. Doggone it. <laughs> that must keep your damn face warm, huh? It tries. I got other things too, you know? That's one, 126, <laughs> and, but he is not picking up any sticks. But yeah, I think buddy. he's looking yeah, at buddy. that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. I think he was looking at that Rolling Rock beer there, though. I really do. Now, I, I, one thing I cannot understand is why anyone would drink a Rolling Rock beer when there is such a thing as Coors. Coors man. Exactly. Okay, we got, we got some more Grom, Lady Grom right there. And she pretty in the pink snowboard there, no, about, no doubt about it. Pretty in the pink, and she giving it up for Tyler Eklund. Yeah. And she got a nice flow, I'll you know, she got to go, and All there right. she goes. Yeah. Oh, okay, here, I, I was missing it, talking to these guys, and I missed it, and here comes another young lady, Grom. And she looking cute in her a white and sort of pink suit, and she's working it down for Tyler Eklund. So how about that? Oh, here comes 206. Oh, almost over the bank, 206. And not doing any tricks because this isn't really a trick course. This is a high bank yeah. slow. Oh, I guess that was sort of a little trick there. But she laying it down for Hike Tyler it. Eklund. Hike it. She's you gonna get it. back up. Hike she it. she got a cheering Hike. section. Everybody cheers everybody here because everybody here is a winner. No doubt about it. There she goes. I'm gonna stay with her. See, there she goes. She made it. Okay, I'm here with number 259, and I understand he's doing pretty fine. And he is a friend of mine here from town. I call him the Big J Man, or I call him J Man. J Man, I heard you qualified on the on the green course yeah. for the gentleman in what third place? Third place. So why did you decide to do the green? You just I felt like you could do better. Five seconds before I was supposed to drop. Five red. seconds before. Gut feeling. Yeah. Oh, hang on, Jarma. We got one coming down. 
But anyway, I did, oh, yeah. oh I did great. see Jorma it. coming down, it. or the big oh. J-man anyway, J-man, coming down this course uh, on practice day, and uh, he was looking pretty good. He did fly yeah. over one of the berms, but he did a damn good job. So anyway, Jorma, good to see you, brother. Support yeah. of Tyler Eklund. That's right. Much love, rocking it down oh, yeah. with 259, oh, mighty fine. <laughs> Bringing yeah. it down, Brown. <laughs> Grom's on the red course Woo! here. Oh, he looking wow. pretty good for a little wow. Grom of there. But I'll tell you what, some of these kids, man, they're freaking eight years old and they snowboard like a booger. They're trying to hit the crab grab sign, but so far ain't none of them done it. But I thought I might get a catch. See how good, a, just how good a snowball throw is these guys all. Oh, that, that, hey, oh, oh, that one was pretty close. That, that one was pretty close. Say that's <laughs> anyway, I think the thing is the snow here at Mount Bachelor is too light and too dry, and these guys are not making a good snowball right here. They're, oh, no, they're packing them up, but that's a good snowball right there. He did have to warm it up. Almost oh, got it. Oh. Well, I'll tell oh. you what. I would not want to play baseball with these guys. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, that's one nice carvy board there. A little bit long for the course, but uh, I think that was a she. She working it down. And you know, I know sometimes I say a she, but folks, you know, I never know for real when they got all that garb on. Bringing it down. Yeah. For the olders and wisers, and once again, I'm going to tell you, some of these olders may not be wiser. I mean, I'll tell you what, how would you like to break your hip right there? What's that guy, like 60 <laughs> years old or something? Man, he's got to be careful because if he breaks his damn hip, we'll be needing to help him just like Tyler Eklund. Well, probably not. Broken hip is nothing compared to what happened to him. Oh, he almost hit the crab grab. <laughs> okay, here comes one down. Yeah. And this yeah, is older. Yeah, yeah. And this is older yeah, and wiser. Oh, but yeah. you know what? Generally, once you get wiser, you put a helmet on. And I'm not sure why he's not wearing a helmet, but that is a personal choice, folks. So far, they have not passed a law in skiing telling us that we must. Okay, he made, he, he made the last one. He hit, oh, he missed it. So he's only one, he's only one up for five. So, oh, well. Okay, here she goes. Working it down. I'm not sure what group this is, but this is a lady. There's no doubt about that one right there. And she's working it. She's working it. She's a good rider. No doubt about it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Got some nice speed with this rider here. And you know, I think that I think this is another lady and she is working it. That's how you do this here. That is a little hop. And there it is. Oh, she booking it. She booking it. Oh yeah, knee ice for show. Knee ice. Yes, ma'am. Hey, we got a little bit of flat light here today. Oh, compared to the other day. And this 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 young lady is oh she lost it on the high line right there. But she maintained well on the speed. Yeah. Okay, here comes another one. And she ripping it too. Oh, these are these are must be like the best young uh of the best young ladies. This is the the last day. And everybody has qualified, and now it's on. This is it. Well, I'll tell you what, we got videographers, cameraographers. We got a freaking crowd right here, folks. I mean, to tell you what. <laughs> and they're, they're all giving it up for Tyler Eklund right here. They're checking it out. And, you know, this is a close course, so these are all competitors here, or maybe, maybe a few people that snuck on, but they're all giving it up for Tyler. No doubt about it. Okay, here comes another one. Oh, nice in the camp. Oh, yeah. come on, baby. No, uh, nice pump. Lost a little speed in there, but that's where it gets you every time. Here we go again. Oh, I don't. I think that is. I think that is Ashley right there. I'm not sure for sure. But she's doing a good job getting it down there for Tyler Eklund. Okay, here comes another one of the fine young ladies. Solid. And yes, she is solid. She is working it good, no doubt about it. Oh, she kind of, oh, oh she, you know, there. she did lose Go it right there. But you see, the thing about this event is everybody cheers on everybody. There's a lot of camaraderie here. Yeah. 
yeah. and everybody's a winner at the Dirksen Derby. Everybody is a winner. And nobody says die, and nobody says never. And there she goes. She's going to complete that puppy. Here we go again. Oh, oh, he got off way high right there, went over the top of the berm, but he collected it, and he did not eject it. Oh, yeah, nice. Nice, bro. Oh, I just missed this guy. <laughs> but he's ripping it. He's doing good. And that come through this first turn so fast, I missed him. Okay, here we go again. Oh, nice gap. A little high there, but he, he, he again held it together just like the other guy. Oh, nice hop there to maintain that speed. There he goes. Okay, coming around the gapper. Oh, doing a nice job. You got one of them carvy boards there. You can tell he got that little tip on it there, you know. You got maybe one of them Frenchy boards there. He's working it though. Oh, that guy just that guy just did a 180 uh, coming in the gap and, and the crowd roars. And the crowd roars. I mean to tell you what, man, that guy was very entertaining right there. Nice, yeah, yeah, nice on the gap. Yeah. Good, uh, good high line. Good. Uh, lost a little speed there. And again, and again, that's where they get you. But he's hopping it out for Tyler Eklund, and there he goes. Yeah, Greg. Okay, this guy got some good speed. Nice high line on the first one. Nice, good, good, good. Maintaining a pretty good flow there. Hopping to maintain it. Yes, very good. Okay, here we go, bringing it in again. 241, having fun. Oh, look like hairballing out there a little bit. But he held on. Uh, not too shabby at all, no doubt about it. Oh, nice speed from her. Good flow. Little hoppage. And gone. She is gone. She is gone. Oh, nice aerodynamic package there. I have not seen too much aerodynamics here, but that is a good one. And she ripping it on down. Okay, here comes another one with the camel. She got uh, style points on the clothes there for sure, and she riding good. She pumping that puppy. Oh yeah, go, go. Even a little hand push. Oh nice, really good, really good. Taking a little lower line, but oh, lost a little there. Still good though, that was very good indeed. Yes, Sarah! And there goes Sarah, as you heard. And he pumping it on through there and giving it up for Tyler Eklund. The boys and the girls alike. Oh, knee ice for show sure, right there. Oh man, she ripping it and dipping it. And yeah, I would double dip uh, Chip with her. She's a good rider. Got a late start on this one here. I didn't hear it coming down. Brown. Ho, ho, ho. We got some action, Jackson, here now. And not doing. Oh, lost the speed there. Working it nonetheless. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now we're talking. Oh, nice on the high line. Good. Good, good. Yeah, that's probably pretty close to about as good as it's going to get right there. Oh, yeah. And that was pretty good, and that ain't even one of them Frenchy boys there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's my J-man there. Okay. He had qualified third on the other course there yesterday, and he decided he was going to run this one. Well, there he goes. I do believe he's in the gentleman's club there. Okay, this guy went around the outside of the kicker and a little short Frenchie there. And he's he's working it, man. Oh, yeah. Me ice for sure.
Well, they got a lot of arbor boards running down this hill today. No doubt about it. Booging it. A little slow out of the deal, but all for Tyler. Okay, obviously we have James here, and he's doing pretty good there. No doubt about it. Nice, nice work, James. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Nice. Little hand plant, little push, little speed. Scrubbing a little bit, but you got to scrub to make it through these last ones. You don't want to be too fast anyway right there. He, nice job. 294. Got the number on his back there. It's helping balance him out there pretty good. Losing a little speed, but, you know, hey, nice job giving it up. Oh, we got some more action right away this time. Yeah. Yeah, our guy's uh, quite proficient there. Doing a super job, uh, no doubt about it. Nice. I'm getting a little dry. I've been standing out here a couple of hours now. And I made the big mistake of not bringing any water with me. Oh, yeah, checking it out. Oh, almost. <laughs> yeah, almost over the berm there. And again, for Tyler Eklund, and he's giving it up. And there's someone here I want you guys to meet. Okay, I'm going to pan the camera around here. I think we got a guy here. Seems to me this guy's name is Josh. And I might Durkin. end up on Facebook here. <laughs> yeah, Josh. Hey, we all want to thank you personally for putting this thing on. It's a super awesome deal that you're doing. Ryder, Co. trying to catch this. Okay, we're going to catch this rider and we're going to come back to Josh here for just a bit. He's a busy guy, you know, he's putting this thing on, so he's probably got to run and, and do his thing. But look at this little guy go. Holy mo, he dang good snowboarder right there. He hopping right around there. He ain't not wasting any time at all. So Josh, man, yeah. anyway, thanks, man. Yeah, Super no problem, thanks. Josh. Everybody here for Tyler Eklund. Yeah. I mean, what a great crowd. Yeah. Everybody is so killer and, you know, just having so much fun. Yeah, thanks. So, giving it up, try to organize all the people giving that come it up out to make for it Mr. Dirksen. <laughs> and I'm trying real hard this year not to let my dyslexia have me say it the other way. Okay, here we go. More action coming down. Yeah, you know the first time I'd covered this event, I came out and said Durskin. And the thing was, I hadn't covered the event prior, but I had been saying Durskin for years, you know? And unless somebody corrects me on that dyslexic stuff, I just keep saying it the wrong way. But you see, look at all the people here today. Oh my goodness, we're pointing cams. and they're like, Oh, here comes more action now. Here comes more action right now. Hey, that's pretty dang good right there. I don't know who that is, but he's working it good. Yes, sir. -y. Okay, here he comes. We're getting some more, really kind of some serious action coming in here now. And uh, anyway, there they go, working it up. And I just heard one guy say that this was the most challenging bank slalom course he had ever done. And now I'm here with Liam again. We saw him in the practice video, <laughs> and we saw him come down yesterday. He had a whole crowd cheering for him, so we're going to stand by. He's rooting for everybody. And, you know, and everybody is having a good time, and the camaraderie of this event is just insane. So that's why I love this event. And hey, I'm not a snowboarder, I'm a skier, okay? It's these snowboarders, they're the problem. It, it, when I say quick, if you're not uh, finessing this puppy, you lose your speed. And we're watching a guy right now on video, and he's doing really well. That was uh, about as good as you're gonna see it. <laughs> And uh, I'll ski in anything as long as it's a onesie, okay? okay. But it got to be a onesie. Now, this one I'm wearing right now, it does unzip at the coat and comes apart. Okay. But because it does... And how long have you been riding there or skiing in Mount Bachelor? Uh, Pretty solidly, probably for about 10 years now. Okay. But I've been coming up here for like 20 years ago. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, here comes... Who's this? Who's this? Everybody knows who this guy is. Carson. They're... Carson. Carson? Because they're cheering that guy, and he's ripping it, man. You Damn. That was really good. He maintained heavily. Put all that stuff together, you know? Because yeah. like me, uh, my whole sound crew, my editing people, everything, you know, it's all me, myself, and I. Yeah. And uh, I used to like the crappiest editor and the shittiest little camera, so, yeah. you know. But you're out here doing it. <laughs> but I'm doing it. Yeah. I always got to thank my sound guy. 
and my camera crew. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I like it because it fulfills an artistic, I would say, uh, bone in me, you know? Okay. I like to be creative. And uh, really, though, without the riders and stuff that I film up here doing this ski step, well, they would, you know, really, they're the ones being creative and I'm just capturing it. But when I do it, I still like to do it, you know, and I enjoy it. A lot of it's about the blah, blah, you know, because if you watch my videos, you'll discover that 90% of them don't have any music. You just have to listen to me talk. Okay, here he goes. Anyway, with, with the cat hair windscreen that I made from my cat, okay, from my cat, I, I made that instead of buying one of those expensive ones. And I can ski like 50 miles an hour with this camera and it picks up the sound just fine. Wow. Well, yeah, unless it's hard you're, work having this much fun. Yeah, right? it is. That's what the other thing, some people don't understand, man. When you ski, if you're lucky enough to ski seven days a week, man, it is hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're in the biz, you know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Okay, well I gotta do some filming myself. Now. Yeah, Thanks you better get, get get out there, Liam. Take care, brother. Thank you. Yeah. Oh man, got that high line and held on tight, though, man. That was pretty doggone good right there. Action Jackson taking it down for Tyler Eklund. Yeehaw. Oh yeah. That was pretty doggone good. Oh yeah. Working it. Work. Oh, and a little bit of jerking it. Well, no, not really. But you know, he almost munched it there, but he's taking it on down. Oh, and a 180. Nice. Oh, man, he almost went over that berm too. But Oh, nice high line. Oh, and he's down. He's down. But you know, like I said before, everybody is a winner here. And everybody's rooting for everybody because it's Fatala Eklund at the Dirksen Derby. Working it down, bro. Oh, that was so weak. Oh my god, nice. Holy moly, the high line all the way. I think that may be the best I've seen yet. Bringing it on down. Nice style. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, although he doesn't appear quite, yeah, he did lose some speed there, but he's smoothing it on through. Okay, we're getting Liam here. He brought out his stuff. He's making some, he, he making some kind of movie. We're, we're all making movies here and photographs, man. There's uh, so many of us here with cameras right now. You cannot even believe it. But you know, everybody wants to capture the moment here at the Dirkskin Derby, including <laughs> this guy right here, Mr. Liam. Okay, we're, try, we're trying to maintain the Dirkskin Derby and, and, and get rid of my dyslexic way of saying it. Yes, it is the Dirksen Derby, and they're giving it up for Tyler Eklund. Go, go, go. Oh, this guy come in quiet. The snow's quiet. I did not hear him coming down. <coughs> nice. Nice work. Okay. Oregon Adaptive Sports, they're the ball arm, and that's why I sing this song. They take the diss out of ability. They're going to get you on a ski. Hogan, Adaptive Sports, yeah, they're the bomb. And there they go, a couple from Morgan Adaptive Sports running it down the course. And there they go. Best. Okay, so we talked to these guys the other day about this guy, Pete Alport. And, and someone was saying that he was doing really good. Well, that's him sitting right there, and I just talked to him. And he said he didn't even compete this time. He's just chilling, but Pete Alport, he's a professional videographer, unlike uh, some of us. <clears throat> and here comes some more action, Jackson. Get the forward carving board there. I do believe that is a Burton. Got those little slots on there. Oh, not nice. Nice. Really good about speed, it good speed. Yeah. No too shabby. Oh, checking the route. Went around the kicker or the or the gap there. Maintaining pretty good speed. But oh, that's where they get you, but not bad. Well, you know, we got some flat light here today. I was starting to get a little bit chilled. 
But now we got so many people and cameras around here and so many batteries and cell phones. I'm going to tell you, it's keeping me warm now. I, like, I can feel the heat coming off all the equipment around here. <laughs> and a little sit down there, but you know, again, everybody's a winner here. Everybody's a winner here. Oh, oh, real high line almost went over, but held on nicely. Working it on down for Tyler Eklund. Okay. Okay, so, so this is Alex. Talked to him a little earlier. I was going to put him on the cam, but he said he was cam shy there, you know. But when they come by here, uh, they're not cam shy at all. Because, like I said, there's only about a thousand cameras out here capturing that guy just going by. Oh, okay, here's the, here's, the, here's the one in the aerodynamic package. And I'll tell you, aerodynamics can make a break you down at the bottom of this course. Oh, yeah, nice. And doing a good job again. Working it. Oh, nice. Good flow. A little jump, a little hop there, trying to maintain that momentum for Tyler Ackland. Okay, okay. <laughs> This guy, this guy, oh, we're going to give him style points. Uh, he technically, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't, he can't really place like that because he did uh, miss the gates. That's called missing the gates. But, you know, he did that for the show. He did that for the fun. And everybody that's up here right now, they all cracked up. He had his green hair on and totally cut the course. And there it was. Oh, really good. That guy really did well. There. Okay, here we go. Somebody said Johnny. Maybe that Johnny Lightning right there. I'm not real sure. But he did lose a little speed there, but he's pumping it. And he's working it out. Oh, I'm through the net last minute with Gabe Rousseau. He's taking it down. And I just left, and so now I'm missing him on the on the coolest part, but there he goes with Oregon Adaptive Sports. Well, okay, ooh, really fast on the green course. I can't guarantee you guys I'm gonna come back because I gotta go get something to eat and I gotta drink and all that good stuff because I wasn't smart enough to bring all that stuff over with me. So anyway, gonna do that. If I come back, I come back. But if I don't, just to let you know, checking out potentially from the Dirks and Derby here at Mount Bachelor 2013. Ciao.